Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zampro here, aka Scoop, with another Wi Fi battle. Again, in the OU tier, I'm facing a buddy of mine. Um, in game name Ice, uh, Twitter link in the description below. As always. And, yeah. I tweeted out asking for battles and this is one of my responders this is actually a buddy of mine um i know him from meverse and the deadly 18 subreddit let's just see what he's bringing to the table okay so he's got a pretty powerful looking squad latios it's, uh mega talon flame Falcon. I'm just writing this down real quick. Zapdos. Raiko. Rotom. Watch. Okay. 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 Potential leads for him could be practically anything. Um, I think our best lead is Scizor. Heechin's not a bad, bad lead either. Um, I think we're going to lead, I think we're going to lead Heechin. And then we'll, we'll go from there. If he leads off with Talonflame or the Lottie or the Ferrothorn, we're in business. Even the Zapdos isn't that bad. Oops. Um, yeah, I think, I think Heatron's our best lead. Let's see what we got here. Okay, he leads Rotom. Okay, this is not what we wanted. Okay, not what we wanted, like I said. But he cannot go for Will-O-Wisp, so I expect him to go for um, Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump or the Volt Switch, so we're just going to fire off a Toxic. He may overpredict here. He does not overpredict here. He's able to get major damage off on us as we go for the Toxic. And on this next turn, we can switch out to our own Rotom. Switch out to our own Rotom here. Because this teaching is actually very valuable this match. Um, our own Rotom is also... But we're going to just go ahead and switch into that. And then we're going to Volt Switch out. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp, which is actually a really good move on his part. Uh, predicting my switch. Which is fine because it's a burn, which is better than being toxic. When you're uh, a defensive, especially attacking Pokemon. Um... Like I said, we can just Volt Switch out now. No reason to overpredict this time. Alternatively, we could have went for the Will-O-Wisp of our own, predicting him to switch out to maybe Feral Thorn or um, the Raikou. Um... Okay, he does switch out, so we could have went for the Will-O-Wisp. He goes to his Latios. Now, now what we can do is we can go to our Mega Alakazam. Let me just run a calc real quick and see if we knock this thing out if it's offensive. Mega Alakazam. Latios, Life Orb Attacker. 
Shadow Ball does about 80%, so that is not a knockout. Um, I think our best play. I don't think Megalodis carry the Hidden Power Fire. Usually the Combine Rest and Dual Stab. But we could go into our Sylveon and force out the Feral Thorn. I think that's our play, is to go into Sylveon and double into our Heatron to make him want to switch out. Because he can't knock me out with any one hit. There's no way. There's no way. And he should fear the Hyper Voice and go out into his own um, Feral Thorn and we can go out into our Heatron. Okay, he does withdraw. And he does go into the Feral Thorn. As predicted, now we can go into our Heatron. And we can fire off a Lava Plume. Or we can fire off a, um, or we could double again, actually. Predicting his Rotom Wash, or what else would come in? I only see the Rotom Wash coming in, to be honest. So, we can switch back to our own Rotom Wash. But we wouldn't really accomplish anything in that regard. Um, he could over predict and stay in. He could very well switch out to his Rotom. Rotom Wash is a problem. Um, maybe, maybe Alakazam is our best play here. We can double into Alakazam on the Rotom Wash and hit it up with a Psychic. Um, we got 40 seconds to pick our play. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we're actually just going to go for the Lava Plume. He may over predict this turn. And we would be able to get our Lava Plume off. Um, he does not. He does switch out. Likely into the Rotom Wash. Yep. Like I predicted, but there wasn't a move that like we could have made that could have helped there, I guess, in that regard. Um, I'm gonna expect him to go for Volt Switch. Expecting our own Rotom to come out. And I'm just going to go for, I'm gonna go for a Toxic on this turn, predicting him to uh, volt switch Yeah, he does volt switch. Yeah, this is really good We went for the toxic he got a critical hit damn it damn it the hell son of a bitch nah, uh, That's not that crucial because like, We weren't gonna live many hits from much else But getting this toxic off is gonna be really really nice Hopefully we land. And if we land, we're actually in a pretty solid position. If he goes Feral Thorn, um, <laughs> that would be funny. He goes Zapdos, which is actually pretty good because uh, residual damage on this motherfucker is really good. We do land. That's good. So not a bad position here. Um, I think we keep our Heatron though, because it's really good against the Ferrothorn. But it's so low at this point, I'm not sure if it's worth keeping. If this is defensive Zapdos, it might not even might not even knock us out. Um, What's our best play? Just gonna go for the Lava Plume. Oh, and he does switch out, so this is actually pretty good. If we would've went for the Earth Power, that'd been insane. 
predicting his roost or something. But we're just gonna go to the lava plume here and we got a chance for a burn, no burn. Which that's pretty cool because I didn't want the burn. I want to toxic this later, potentially. Um, I think our best play is actually just going for lava plume again. He does show the hidden power, uh, probably ice. Yeah, ice. Haha. <laughs> we stayed in. He predicted us to switch to Garchomp. And we were just sacking our Heatron off here, so. Uh, at this point, I think he will go for the Thunderbolt. But we've actually gained enough uh, HP back that I actually don't mind to. Um, he's going to go for Thunderbolt this next turn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Garchomp. And then we're going to go back into... Okay, he switched. Okay, so he's probably choiced. We went into our Garchomp, which is not good because he actually went into his Rotom. Okay. But here's here's the thing. He's going for Will-O-Wisp. And we're going to switch into Mega Alakazam to take the Will-O-Wisp and then fire off a Psychic. We're going to make Alakazam here and absorb this Will-O-Wisp because, oh, he goes for Hydro Pump. Okay. Okay, he's a man. He is a man. But nonetheless, we fire off a Psychic. Okay, he's got the Citrus Berry, actually. That makes things, that changes things a little. That changes things a whole lot, actually. Um, what we do here is we Mega Evolve Fire off the psychic. Okay. I can't risk Mega Alakazam this early. Because, uh, because it just puts in so much work. Um, I think my best play is, okay, he's going to go for the Volt Switch here. So I can actually just go back into my Garchomp. And then on the Will O Wisp or the Hydro, I can go into my own Rotom. I think that's uh, the plays I'm gonna make here. I'm gonna try to make a play. I'm gonna bait. Okay, yeah, perfect. Went for the bolt switch as predicted. And now I'm going to bait the Will-O-Wisp or the Hydro Bump, and I'm going to go into my own Rotom. And then again, we can just bolt switch out. Pretty tense here. Um, Heatron had put in the finest of work, man. The double on the Ferrothorn and then hitting the to hitting the Toxic on the Zapdos. And then predicting the Raku to overpredict. Oh, this, this is fantastic. Okay, he makes a double Volt Switch here, which is a good play. I could have set up my rocks. I could have set up my rocks. He makes a good play there, and I do not get to set up my rocks. Hmm. He brings out his Raku here, which is actually pretty interesting. I don't think Rotom serves a purpose this match besides like completely walling the Talon Flame, but we have a tank chunk for that. We do have a tank chomp for that. Um, Sylveon's not a bad switch either. I don't see Sylveon putting in the most work this match. Besides being the Megalodios check. Okay, he might predict uh, Hidden Power Ice again. Or, I mean, Garchomp and go for the Hidden Power Ice again. We're going to go into the Scizor. And if he Volt switches, that's fine. Because anything that comes in, we can U-turn on besides the Talonflame, in which we will hard switch. 
He goes straight for the uh, Thunderbolt and nearly knocks us out. Um, he might predict a bullet punch here. We're going to go for the superpower. We're going to go for the superpower predicting his Feral Thorn to come out. And if he does not, then we um, we use, or we switch into Alakazam. Okay, he goes into Talonflame, which is actually a pretty solid play on his part also. And we land the superpower that does over half. And now, at this point, we can switch into Rotom. Actually, Garchomp's a pretty safe uh, switch here. I would go Rotom, but he's already so low, and if he's set up, that would be bad. So, uh, Garchomp's my play of choice here. I can set up my rocks. If he goes for U-turn, uh, he'll take major damage. Yep, he'll take da uh, major damage from Ruskin and Rocky Helmet. And, yep. So if we set up rocks, that's a dead uh, dead bird when he comes back in. He'll probably go into the Mega Latios. Probably goes into the Mega Latios, in which we will go. We'll switch out to probably our Heatron or Sylveon. He brings out the Rotom. Okay, he might predict us to switch here. We're just going to set up our rocks. Because that's not a bad play. If he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, so be it. Or the Hydro Pump. I don't mind either. I don't need my Chomp anymore. Um, given that... Given that Talonflame is gone upon switch in. And he has no way to remove Hazards besides Defog, Zapdos, and Latios. Which can be capitalized on. He goes for the Hydro Pump. And misses. Um, I think our own Rotom is pretty... Pretty expendable here. So we're going to switch into our own Rotom here. He might go for Volt Switch. Whatever he goes for, it doesn't really matter to me. Because I'm not... Um, Whatever he goes into, it doesn't matter because the burn kills me, so I get the initiative here. Whatever he switches into. His Volt Switch is actually pretty good for us. Because it forces him to go out into Zapdos here to defog. And we can go into Alakazam and get the Psychic off. And assuming he defogs, uh, we will two-hit KO. And if he does not defog... Okay, did we die? Did we die from a burn after this? If we don't die from burn, that's bad. Okay, we die from burn. <laughs> Thank goodness. I know that doesn't sound right. Thank goodness we die, but <laughs> it's, it is what it is. So we go into Alakazam here. Fire off a psychic, and he either defogs or knocks us out. And if he knocks us out, how do we deal with everything else? Rocks kill Talon. Okay, Alakazam is definitely our best play here because we can go for the Psychic. And go for the Psychic, and this does about 50 to 60 percent. If he switches out, that's fine with me because I will go for the Focus Blast. Actually, I don't know if I'll go for the Focus Blast on the Ferrothorn. I think I would hard switch into our own Heatron. I say our own as in he had one, but he doesn't have one. So we get the pressure off here. Go for the Psychic. Okay, he does go for Defog. He did choose to go for Defog. Um... We're going to go for Shadow Ball here because it's our best play. 
it will knock out this. If it goes into Latios, it will do pretty good damage to it. And it does more to Feral Thorn than Psychic does. So I believe Shadow Ball is our play of choice here. Okay, he stays in and just stacks this thing off. Okay, that worked out as expected. Okay, if he goes Ferrothorn, he might try to set up hazards. And depending on our HP, we might just stay in and go for the Focus Blast. Because we have no way to remove hazards. We're just going to stay in and go for the Focus Blast here. Hopefully we land, and if we do not, we will Encore. Anyway, depending on what movie goes for. If it goes for rocks or spikes or lead seed or something, we encore him, obviously. Hopefully this Focus Blast uh, lands. Everybody's got a problem with Focus Blast. They call it Focus Miss. I trust Focus Blast. I trust Mega Alakazam. I trust Alakazam. And I trust base 120... Uh, Fighting type non stab. I trust it. So let's see what we got here. Hopefully, he, he might switch out. Predicting focus blast. He does switch out. Predicting focus blast. He goes out into his Raikou. And if we land, this thing is dead. We miss. We miss, which is okay. Because now we can fire off a psychic. And unless this thing's scarfed, it won't outspeed. He might go back into Ferrothorn. He does not. Down goes the Raikou. Raikou, whatever, whatever you say. So now he has the Talonflame, the Ferrothorn, the Rotom Wash, and the Megalodios. Hmm. So if he goes Talonflame, we go Garchomp. If he goes Ferrothorn, we also go Garchomp. So he goes Talonflame here. We're going to switch out immediately to our Garchomp. He may double. He may double into Megalodios, which would be a good play on his part. Well, actually, that would be his best play. We're going to set our rocks back up because he has no way to remove them now. And if he can get cheeky and do Will-O-Wisp or taunt stuff, and we'll just drag and tail him out. Swords Dance. Uh, he just goes for Brave Bird, actually, so that's pretty cool. We can set up our rocks here, and then we're going to go for Earthquake, predicting him to Roost. We're going to go for Earthquake now, predicting him to Roost. Go for Earthquake, predicting him to Roost. Does he Roost? Because the... Okay, so he does Roost. This should knock out. As if uh, he attacked me, he also was knocked out from the Rough Skin Rocky Helmet damage. So Earthquake was our best play, no doubt. And it does pick up the knockout, so the Talon Flame is gone. Now he has to bring in the Mega Latios, in which we will go directly to our Heatron. It serves almost zero purpose now, besides the Ferrothorn, uh, who's actually still kind of problematic. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to sack off. Can you sack off our Sizzler? Yeah, we're going to sack off our Sizzle here. He could go for um, Calm Mind, Roost, Recover, and he might just straight up attack. Uh, Draco Meteor would be fine because that would lower his special attack. But then again, he could just go for Psychic, which will knock us out anyway. Okay, so we should have maybe went Hatred there.
Um, still not quite the range I need it to be to knock out with Mega Alakazam. We're going to go to Sylveon, and again, we're going to double into our Heatron, predicting Ferrothorn. And if he just goes into his Rotom on a sack, then um, if he goes to Rotom on a sack, then we would have we would have sacrificed our Garchomp because he's actually no longer needed either. But he does go into Ferrothorn and our double into Heatron will pay off here. We can fire off a Lava Plume safely now. Yeah, just fire off a Lava Plume here. No reason to overpredict at this point in the match. It's looking like Mega Alakazam can clean up. Uh, the thing is, we have to save our Heatron for the Sparrow Thorn if he were to switch out, and he does not, which is actually okay for us. Down goes the Sparrow Thorn. Now he has to bring in the Rotom. He does bring in the Rotom. Um... I'm actually just going to switch into Garchomp because uh, Heatron puts in more work against Latios. Sylveon, Heatron, and Mega Alakazam should be able to deal with uh, the Latios. Okay, now here I bring in my Mega Alakazam. I can go for the Psychic. Alternatively, I could go for Shadow Ball, but I don't really see a point in that yet. Mm. Yeah, we just go for the sidekick here. Should knock out. get the knockout on the Rotom and now the Mega Latios is left and we can go for Shadow Ball here and it should knock out it should knock out right here um, let's see and it does knock out so that's good game ice good game ice that was very fun we get a narrow 3 0. I say narrow because two of my Pokemon were very low HP. Let me say that battle video real quick. The bringing Sylveon in on the Mega Latios and then doubling into Heatron seemed to be the where I got the most momentums, momentum in the matches or in the match. Uh, bringing out the Heatron versus the Ferrothorn and being able to. Either fire off a toxic or a lava plume, depending on the situation. And yeah, that was a pretty good game. Fun OU battle, fun team, fun opponent, fun everything. So if you guys liked, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.